I've been really on my own when I think about it Yeah, my house is not a home when I think about it I've been feeling so alone when I think about it Yeah, nobody really got me when I think about it what is good YouTube fam? It's your boy Simicon back here again with another reaction video for you guys today. For today's reaction video, we got Cyanide and Happiness compilation number 25. Let's jump up in it. And for her remains, I like to have them scattered by Old Trout Lake, where we always used to go fishing. All right, so you want her cremated then? Nope. <laughs> Bro! Oh. Oh, 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 come here, you little... <laughs> oh. Right off the rip? That's what we going? Gentlemen, we need more coats. Where are you walking to? She's not even that hot anyway. She's good. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now that's funny, y'all. <laughs> that's. <laughs> good evening, City Tropolis. I'm Chip Chapley. And in this special segment, we investigate the local legend that is Mothman. But how much do we really know about him? Let's explore the myth behind the moth. Who is Mothman? Tonight I sit down with billionaire entomologist Morton Mothson to get a rich person's perspective. So is it you? Oh, uh, <laughs> preposterous, really. I, I haven't the faintest why people are associating me with this Mothman character. It's, it's simply ludicrous. Uh, what about the mysterious cavern beneath your estate? What, the moth cave? First of all, he just said it, the moth cave. Second of all, you got a moth on your, like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, you got these, these antennas and stuff like, it's you. <laughs> cave? I almost never go down there. That's where my butler Milford lives. And the mothmobile in your garage? You don't drive that. Of course not. Don't be absurd. My butler Milford chauffeurs me around. R right. Well, what about your butler? You mean, Milfred? Bro! Why do I never see this coming? Why do I never see it coming? Oh my goodness, that's so funny, bro. Ow, what? Ow! Come on! Oh. Bruh! Mm. <laughs> um, what about him? Hello, neighbor. Come on in. You're just in time to join me for supper. I just baked this delicious cobbler, but there's no one to eat it with. <gasps> I know. Why don't we go to Puppet Town and invite all the neighbors? Time to eat, everyone! Yeah, he's gonna eat everyone! You can't tell me this ain't a, a, a Attack on Titans reference, like... 
There's no way you can't tell me this is not an Attack on Titans reference. If y'all don't know what that is, man, it, it, you should check it out. It's an anime. It's, it's really dark, really creepy. This is definitely, they make it fun of they, oh, no, For I sure. No. Guess no one's home. The food's getting cold. Ah, ah, no, no! Uh, I've got you, mommy. Ah, no, no, no. Now, where on earth did everyone go? Bruh. It's a lonely day in this neighborhood. There's no one to eat this my cobbler food. This nigga gonna start singing? I nah, fam. I am alone. I am alone. He skipped over the sun. Alright, John, you're doing great. You're looking at $500 right now. Let that sink in. <laughs> okay, now for all the marbles. Which of these artists guest starred on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1958? Hmm. Now remember, you've still got three lifelines you can play. You can ask the audience, you can phone a friend, or conjure a spirit. Spirit. Spirit? Spirit, definitely. My grandma. Yeah, she used to watch that shit all the time. Let's get grandma on the line. That shit turned into a Ouija board. <laughs> grandma, it's John. I've got a... Oh, Jonathan. It's so good to hear your voice. All right, focus, Grandma. Which one of these artists guest starred on The Ed Sullivan Show in... Oh, oh, I have... Have you had children? 1958, Grandma. God damn it. Do you want to know about the afterlife? Oh, uh, <laughs> I want to know about the Ed Sullivan Show. Listen, you old bat. I'm not old, I'm dead. You should probably think about wrapping it up. You shut up, too. <laughs> I need to tell you where the family gold is buried. Grandma, there's $500 on the line. Roger Williams. Bro, does Presley. family go? He was a handsome man. He looked good in a hat. Enough about the hat, all right? Time is almost up. Grandma, Louis Armstrong, Judy Garland. A -a Everyone gets their own dimension. The Mormons were right. Ah, <sighs> oh, wasn't that a touching reunion? <sighs> well, John, what's it gonna be? Whatever. B. Elvis Presley, final answer. Ooh, I, uh, I got some bad news for you, John. Uh, oh, damn it, Grandma, you cost me 500 fucking dollars! Ow! Damn it, Grandma! You're crazy, Doc! What you're talking about is impossible! Impossible? Look closely. This mosquito was caught in tree sap a hundred million years ago, fossilized in amber. We simply dug these up, extracted prehistoric DNA from their blood, and after a little genetic engineering, voila! You mean you really created? Yes. Welcome to my life's work. Welcome. <laughs> you big ass mosquito park. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. Man said, Welcome to big ass mosquito park. Bro, what? What? You could have told me that when we were riding up? Hey, man, I gotta warn you, there's some big ass mosquitoes here. Like, that'll be a good. Thing to say. Got me out here getting stung and whatnot. Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> 
That's wild. <laughs> That's wild, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. Don't even think we've forgotten about your Mosquito Park stunt, Doc. Yeah, you're crazy if you think we're coming back here. Big ass Mosquito Park was a failure, I'll admit. But we went back to the drawing board and discovered something incredible. It turns out inside the prehistoric mosquitoes was actual dinosaur blood. Our top geneticist simply filled the gaps in the dino DNA sequences with frog DNA and voila. You mean you really created- It's gonna be some flying frogs. Ain't no way. Welcome to regular ass dinosaur park. Nah, fam. Nah. Bro, don't get it. Where you headed? I, uh... I'd like to go that way. <laughs> Please? You're not going that way. Okay. I, uh, know a shortcut. Sorry I'm late. Uh, should we order some wine? Oh! Oh! Boys, I'm stepping out to go to my anger management class. I want everyone, everyone, to behave themselves while I'm gone. Strike! Step aside! Make way for the bowling master! Me! Open your peepers, everybody! Check this out! Oh! Ha! Easy! <laughs> now, watch and learn! Oh! Bro! Are you 
you ready to cooperate, Agent Seven? <sighs> It'll take a lot more than tying me to a table to make me talk. You'd probably have to use that giant ceiling laser as well. <laughs> My plan exactly, Agent Seven. Bro, that almost went over my head. Cats love lasers. That is so dark and so wrong, bro. Oh my goodness. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Captain Cupcakes. Jeez, oh. I am so sorry. That. He seemed like a good cat. I... No, Is there anything no, I can do? You, no, you know what? No, you take all the time no. you need. I'm just gonna... I'll come back next week. We can do this whole thing again next week, okay? I'm really sorry. <laughs> hey, Dad! I got you a new... <gasps> Dad, no! Daddy's coming home, Captain Cupcakes! Dad! Ain't no way, boy. Uh, <laughs> that is so dark. Uh, he going through it. He just gonna close the door on my mess. He going through it. Somebody help him. <laughs> Somebody help him. <laughs> Are you tired of paying full price for things? I'm half off Oscar, a half off Oscar's half off Emporium, where price is no issue, because I'll cut that price in half. Want an 80 inch television but can't deal with the price? I'll cut you a new deal, I'll cut it in half. This 40 inch still too expensive? We will slash to your needs. That's a $5 TV right there. I'll take it. $5 TV, TV right there. Ten. Cut it. Cut it. Still not convinced that my thing is that I like cutting things in half? My ex-wife tried to divorce me and take half my money. So I gave it to her, but I cut it in half. As God is my witness, you will pay the proportionate value of the half of the product you receive. And boy, do we have products. Laptops, nunchucks, guitars and glasses, king beds, queen beds, double beds, single beds, and that ain't the half of it. How about a basketball for the kids? <laughs> Cut it in half. How about your kids? Hey, 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 man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As I've demonstrated, I will cut absolutely anything in half for absolutely any reason. I do not care. Adam prices running you up the wall? There is no limit to my power. I'll cut it in half. Commercials too long? Cut it in half. Remember, cut it in half. <laughs> if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.